Hello everyone, Carl here, and welcome back to Aeronautica. What you see here is the Lockheed WP-3 Orion, which is a weather reconnaissance plane. Well, it should be WP-3D, not, not just 3, for some reason. And here are the statistics for this plane, for those who want to uh, compare with other aircraft. It has a maximum speed of 328 knots, a service ceiling of 8,200 meters, and a range of around 270 kilometers. It has also a capacity of 15, which means that it is an average plane for transport jobs. It can do transport jobs alongside this new one, which is called the Weather Hunting Through Storm Number. There's some a lot of numbers in this question here, so the main objective is always the same for all five of these. And the other aircraft that you can do this kind of mission is right over here. The Lockheed C-138 Hercules. It can also do this missions, but in comparison, it has a higher service ceiling. And has a... But lower in the maximum speed and range. Well, it's a multi-purpose plane, though. And let us uh, begin with this new job over here, the weather hunting through storm. So number 20, it's just to the west of Clarence. 23 is northeast. Number 19 is further southwest. 21 is north west of our location and of new england town as well and number 22 is far northwest of the other storm so hang on a minute are you selling all the h4 parts together or i can buy them separately well every all together let me reply to this So, the storm that we're going to get close to is number 20 for this tutorial, and the farther the storm, the more points you get, and money. However, it will it's a risk that you may have to refuel on your way, or to your return, But it's your preference. It it may be doable. It may not be. It should be fixed in a later update, but moving on, we'll be tackling the closest storm, which is number twenty. So let's begin. And there's a question here that says, why people keep rejoining the game? Good question. So, we have here an Antonov AN-10. Or AN-10. Or I don't know how they, how they say it in Ukrainian. But it's no matter. So let's turn on the engines. And we will take off from one way twenty seven. And you'll see some planes going through, which is not a bad thing. Well, that's for uh, 
prevent further crashes, that is. So let's... Anyway, let's... Let's head... Let's taxi our plane to Runway 27. So let's see the list of players currently in this server. There's at least one moderator. We're not going to take the full runway, just going to take what is enough, so around here probably, or this one, Let's, looks like that's a dash 8 over there, that's right, dash 8. Let us see if we can uh, zoom into passenger view. Let's uh, press 9. And uh, let's align this with the runway. Slow down. Put to a stop. And unfortunately, you can't. The camera is a bit too low, so we will do the we will do it outside of the fuselage. What a nice view! Oh, I forgot to uh, turn on the navigational lights. It's 4 a.m. game time, so let's uh, take off. Whoa! Take off. Something wrong with take off, so... Oh, no, 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 we just... We got off center. So, uh... Anyways... Take off still bug at this point. Possibly because of the runway tripping your plane. And that is the uh, the Clarence Harbor race over there. If you want to if you want to check that job out, it's for smaller planes though. So let's see the distance of this, the proximity of the storm, which, well, which storm are we headed? This storm or that larger storm? So we're going into the smaller storm over here. Let's go, let's go for the first storm here, which I think it's, is it 19? I think it's 19, or possibly 21. So the objective of weather hunting through the storm is to fly your aircraft into the mentioned storm, which is number 20, then collect weather data, and then return safely 
to the airport where you spawn. In this case, it's Clarence International Airport. Alright, so let's first head to this orange arrow over here. And the sun is about to rise under all these storm clouds. So we're experiencing a foggy condition. It will be in a few moments there will be rain. This is the other storm. I think it's 21 or 19. Doesn't matter, but we will go on to storm number 20, which is the storm within this storm. So, let us align to this arrow, and we're on our way to doing the job. So basically, it is just like the island tours, that you just need to follow the orange arrows, and then return to the airport. That's it. Except that this one probably a moving target. Or a moving waypoint, if you like to call it. And we're getting into the clouds. Oh, I can see some lightning. And we're at the center, right now. Let us follow the waypoints. So it's similarly, like, as I said, like the tour jobs, but it's a moving, probably a moving target, and in harsh conditions like these. Currently it's in rain, so let's, uh, turn right. Steer right. Let's lower the altitude a bit. Oh, great. So much chat. I should have been lucky to capture with the white light on. I'll just check the I'll check the screens after this. So let's continue on with the uh, following the arrows.
No, no, that's left. No, I'm right there. It's, yes, it's right. into buildings. Navigational lights on on this foggy weather. That's fair. line a bit. There we go. We'll be focusing on the runway right now. All right. That's great. Gears down. Oh, storm clouds flew up here, or the foggy cloud. Yeah, I just call it storm cloud. You know, on foggy weather around this part. And let us descend to the runway. Keep the navigational lights on. Well, that's a bit high. And a bit to the to the left. So let's uh continue centering.
Oh, great. Oh, I should. All right. Retry them. I missed it. So let's uh, fifty percent. And um, I'll try to land on thirty six. So let's uh, change the guide to 36. Oh, that's a lot of planes. Right. Whoa, we got an we got an intercept. Right. Oh, where's the fighter? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's the it's the one who asks for the H4 parts. Someone's asking for a 747-400, so I have a few of those. But let's just land first. Right? Clarence is well made. And open the gears once again. Great. Round 150. And I should not crash into this mountain. Oh, I'm a bit busy right now with this landing procedure. First the yellow marker, right? All right. Right? Impressive. Oops, <laughs> went off there. So let's just turn right. Oh, they're calling for me, great.
somebody crash somewhere? Right. So the orange arrow is somewhere near the terminal. Now that's odd place to put it there. And that's about it. The summary is that you need to take off your plane, follow the orange arrow to the center of the storm, All right, as I was saying, for the mission of weather hunting job, rather, not the mission, the weather hunting through storm job, you'll need to take off your plane, then head to the center of the storm in question, indicated by the orange arrow, and then as in the island tours, you'll need to follow around the storm cloud. It should be around the storm cloud, given the... the arrows perfectly placed upon... on the out... just near the... just the part of the circle not just inside, not just, it's only like around the, the boundary of the circle. And, and then, return to the airport of your spawn, where you spawned. That's about it. See you on the next video.